2007, a year of great turbulence and of change. It was on that year the Grand Central School received a generous grant from a college professor, and there was absolutely no begging, really, we promise, to build a dream. No, a revolution that would shake the school to its very foundation. It was then that a small team of concerned young adults, experts in their field, who had nothing better to do on Thursday afternoons than sport their geek glasses and pocket protectors and... Oh, Jeez, I'm a member of this club, aren't I? What I meant to say is that they donated both their skills, which were extensive, and their time to build the foundation, yes, those big wood boxy things of the compost bins, of what would be one of the first composting projects in the state. And it really helped them. We managed to get some cheap layer from that eighth, eighth grade wood shopping class. And so, using some of the greatest advertising genius in the school and the wonder of clip art, the project grew and grew. March melted into April. April melted into later April. Late April melted into still later April. And once we launched in May, Rotten Grotten continued throughout the year, and more and more students got involved composting their garbage. Once all the finishing touches were done, the bins were moved into place, and a kickoff celebration in May signaled the beginning of Rotten Grotten. The bins are lined up side by side, and we continuously add scraps to the outside bins. Once they are filled, we turn them to the inside. This mixes the scraps and adds oxygen to speed the process. By the time the scraps make it to the middle bin, the compost is finished and ready to be added to the school vegetable garden. The crops are put back into the cafeteria, thus completing the recycling loop.